What's up, everybody? It's Vishon Jones, visionary of Fedora Outlier LLC. And one of our subscribers, um, one of my favorites, all of you guys are my favorite, but like my favorite, favorite, like the one, you know, I put in my top five. Oh, I mean, you get the point. Anyway, he's always asking questions, which is a good thing. Keeps me on my toes and um, makes me have to think outside the box. Now, you guys can't see me. Well, a lot of you guys can't, but I have on these headphones that are made for listening and tracking music, right? It has a specific use for you know, that it was intended to do. Now, they're studio headphones. They're big. They're bulky. You know, I mean, they're not, you know, walk around the city, listen to music headphones, although you can, and it would be a very good experience. But they're made for a particular purpose, right? And so, Rhett Prince writes in and asks about sunshades and the whole stigma of a person being blind and wearing shades fashion versus utility versus i just like shades right and so the same way i don't need or like recording using these headphones which i'm going to take off because i don't need right is the same way i feel about sunshades now I have one pair of sunshades and with the outfit that I have on now, I'm going to actually take them out its case and put them on after uh, cleaning them. And I love them, right? I probably have had them for about six years and I've probably worn them about five times. And the reason being is because I generally only take them on vacation now i just put the shades on i can tell you i look damn good in these shades right but i'm not a shade person you know why because right now i have on a bulls baseball cap that i just put on and i don't think personally from a style perspective for me that shades and baseball hats or shades and fedoras look good now to some people it makes them look extra cool laid back chill in the club smoking a cigarette right gangster all of that i don't like that i don't like that look therefore i would never wear shades and i'm taking them off sorry about that on the microphone when I'm wearing any type of hat. So let me explain the ensemble to you. Um, it's Bulls Day today. Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. So I have on a black and red Bulls hat. I have a red Bull shirt. Uh, Michael Jordan shirt, actually. Just Jordan brand. And I have on a black jet black guest jean jacket outfit with a pair of red jordan retro sixes so it's black and red the shades are black but remember i don't wear shades with my hats therefore i would not put on this pair of shades <laughs> all right now i know lots of blind people who eyes are discolored um, I know several blind people where they don't have any eyes. They have, you know, prosthetic eyes. I know several blind people that the sun actually hurts their eyes and they wear sunshades. Now, some of them wear these shades that definitely say, hey, you're blind. They're the blind shades. You guys know them, the, the big dark rapper you know them them things definitely not my style i'm more um polished i guess you would say when it comes to that um and then you have individuals who have those eye conditions and they have very fashionable shades right and so it's a to each his own thing for me like i said i'm i'm a limited shades 
wearer. Number one, if I got in the shades, I would literally have 50 pair to match every outfit and to do this and that. And I just don't want to get into it. Number two, my eyes are fine. You know, when you look at me, you know, you can't quote unquote tell that I'm blind. I hate when people say that. I, I couldn't. I would have never thought you were blind. OK, well, what does a blind person look like in your head? Right. And so that's the fashion and the utility part of it. And just for the sake of having on a pair of shades, no, it's a utility for me. More than likely, I'm at the beach, you know, sometimes because, of course, I've been on vacation more than five times in the last six years. Um, and most of the time it's to a beach or a Caribbean island or somewhere where it's sunny. And I could take them, but, I mean, I can't see. The sun doesn't bother my eyes. So I'm literally remembering to bring, most people often forget, this thing called a pair of sunshades that I don't necessarily want to keep up with. Now, these are very expensive, especially at the time I brought them five or six years ago. I mean, they were 400 bucks. You know what I mean? And they come in a nice hard case. You know, I can drop them. Everything would be fine. But the thing is, that's my style. So do I want to multiply three, four, five hundred dollars times 50? Mm, nah, I'll spend it on hats like the one I have on. So, Rhett, I hope that answers your question. It's a to each his own type thing. If you're a stylist guy, I believe that everything that you put on should accentuate you know what you're wearing your personality how you want people to perceive you i am that guy so i will do and have on exactly that and i don't think shades are needed if for whatever reason um your eyes are discolored and you want to you know be stylish and cover them up or if you want the typical hey i'm blind let everybody know that i'm the blind guy with uh these shades on you could do that too but um, let me know what you guys choose. Hey, is it shades for utility? Is it shades for style? What is it for you? Is it no shades at all? Hey, your future's still bright, whether you got on no shades or not. You guys know what it is, man. Let's change the world. Let's change the world together. I'm about to go see clients. Seeing is, um, well, you know, I'm not going to see them, but, you know, interact with them, man. Do what I do. Let's change the world together.